Is Jesus your Lord and Savior or is he only your Savior? Because with your mouth, you're saying that Jesus is Lord, but with your actions, you're saying that Jesus is a Lord over others, but he's not Lord over you. You're saying that he's a savior, that he saves people, including you, but you don't want to make him Lord over your life. In Luke chapter 6, verse 46, Jesus said, but why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do the things which I say? Or in other words, why do you call Jesus your Lord if you're not obeying what he tells you to do? The biblical usage of the word Lord means the owner, one who has control of the person, the master. If Jesus is in Lord over your life, then how can he be in control of your life? You say that you take your hands off the wheel for Jesus, but your hands are still on it through your actions. The driver's seat is a place of what? Control. That's how you drive a car in the first place. It's by being in the driver's seat. And if you don't move out of the way to let Jesus get in the driver's seat, then he can't be Lord. And if Jesus isn't Lord over your life, then he's not owning you. He's renting you because you want God and you want to cling on to the things of God. But at the same time, you still want the things of this world. On Judgment Day, divided loyalty is something that God is not going to tolerate. You have to pick a side. It's either God or it's either this world. So it's either God's going to be Lord over your life or drugs or weed are going to be the Lord over your life. It's either God's going to be the Lord over your life or people. God's going to be Lord or TikTok's going to be Lord. That show is going to be Lord. That relationship's going to be Lord. So if Jesus isn't the Lord over your life, then who truly is? And if God is renting you, then who else are you sharing yourself with? What attachment does this world have on you that you need to detach yourself from? This is why we examine ourselves so that we can see what we need to work on and see what we need to detach ourselves from so that we can be fully separated from this world, meaning to be consecrated. And if Jesus was Lord over your life, then you would have more reverence for him. Back in the day when there was lords, you would have reverence or respect for them and you wouldn't want to disrespect them in any way. But the way that you're living and the way your lifestyle looks, you disrespect God every single day as if he wasn't your Lord at all. So if you want to find out if Jesus is Lord over your life or not, look at the way that you're living. Look at the fruits that you're bearing. Because it's not by your words that you prove yourself in right standing, but it's by your actions. John the Baptist said to bear fruits worthy of repentance. And in other words, in other translation, it says that you have to prove by the way that you live that you have actually repented of your sins. Let this be a time now to where you pick who your Lord is going to be. It's either going to be God or it's either going to be something of this world.